back to another mess around stream where this time I'm going to be looking at a bunch of weird PlayStation based games that I just have lying around, including this game that I ended up finding out about a couple weeks or so ago. So, yeah, right off the bat. <laughs> um, so, the guy responsible for designing this is, of course, screaming. Bad Jordan. Okay, so, basically, for those that don't know him, and I only knew him a couple of weeks ago, uh, he. A Japanese born uh, American special effects designer who did stuff for like Predator, Big Trouble, Little China, did tons of stuff on music videos. Uh, he's been in the industry for like years, and apparently he has his own pinball game. <laughs> so, uh, Japanese only, which is strange because I feel like he has way more of a presence in the States, but uh, maybe he just figured that. Uh, Oh, right, my controller's not plugged in. <laughs> oh, also, uh, he was a, uh, he was a musician. Uh, he's not anymore, I don't think. Uh, so, all the soundtrack is also done by him. So, really, the only thing that he didn't do here was uh, actually program the game. Uh, everything else is basically him. And, uh, I gotta reset it because, uh, my controller wasn't working there. So, yeah, fa you know, fascinating dude. Uh... <laughs> He's like in his mid 60s. He looks like he's 25. Uh, why is this not working? It sucks. Yeah, it's um. Why is this not? Hold on, my controller is giving me problems. Um. But yeah. Um. Yeah, this is like. I think what happened was that the developers have made other stuff. It's just that this publisher seemed to have only been made to publish this game and nothing else. Uh, not really sure what's going on there, but, uh... According to this, my, uh... I know the uh, black screen is really, uh, really exciting. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, my, uh... This emulator can get really dumb with, uh, controllers. Okay. So let's try this again. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Okay, there we go. Nah, it's just this emulator. Yeah, the, uh, the developer for this actually made one of the best games we ever covered on here, which is one-on-one uh, -on -one basketball. So, this game isn't nearly as good as that, but it's certainly still very interesting. So, the thing is, this works with uh, lives here. Basically, if your ball, or your uh, brain ball, as they call it in this game, uh, gets to the other side... Uh, it's game over. Just immediately. You can't... Oh, wait, no, you can continue, but it takes you to the end, the beginning of the level. Um, you can just have infinite balls. So, I'm gonna do that. Uh, because this game's really hard. <laughs> and also, you don't need cheats to put it on, so, you know, I figure, why not? Also, hi. Alright, you want to see some of the uh, grossest looking uh, pinball tracks you've ever seen? Because, uh, it's Mad George doing it. <laughs> uh, I forget what most of this text is. Um, it reminds me a lot of uh, Splatterhouse if it was a pinball game. Uh, I'll say that much. So yeah, this is what you get. Um, now, the funny thing is, uh, this game has so much going on, visually, that I heard, um, oh god, the audio, uh, <laughs> that on a hardware, uh, this, uh, this lags a lot on certain levels. <laughs> 
This game's really hard. I, I just I just put it on Infinite Lives. Uh, because it's more of just an artist expo. More than it is a game, really. Uh, is this the one where we get the boss? I, I, there's like a couple of levels where you get bosses. Also, it's both. It's like an action pinball FPS game. And like I said, this, uh, this soundtrack, also done by Mad George, uh, and, uh, available for download. And I gotta say, it, uh, it's pretty nifty. Okay, so this is where we get our boss character. Uh, no life bars or anything, so we just kind of have to, like, pray. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean... You know, see, the, <laughs> the U.S. Army is pretty awful. So they wouldn't be uh, cool enough to stream a game like this. So the thing is, this game isn't re very well programmed, is the thing. Because um, the boss can kind of just go willy-nilly and you don't really know what to do for a while. And you do have a life bar, so, you know, even with infinite balls, you still gotta... Yeah, I do too. It's, it's very different. Um, but it is very cool. Also, the guy who designed, uh, composed, uh, drew the art for, uh, directed. Uh, oh god. Yeah, there, there, there is certainly a very, uh, residence look to this. <laughs> Especially the sky there. Um. Yeah, you can see it's on a hardware it lags like this. So I assume the manual would explain some of the mechanics of this better, because there are some pickups, but I don't know what all of them do yet. Maybe I shouldn't have hit hard. <laughs> I am almost dead. Well, we'll see how it we'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm gonna try and then uh, we'll, we'll put it on normal if uh, I can't get past this one. Just, uh... Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, Mad George alongside just doing a ton of shit, um, he apparently was uh, not only a main effects artist for uh, Predator and Big Trouble in China and Iron Light, Deadly Night 4. Uh, <laughs> also, it, he did a ton of music videos. Uh, I, I believe he was responsible for the Closer video, because of course he was. Um, he did like a Cypress Hill video at one point. Uh, basically, if you need anything surreal and or really gross, and you don't want to use CGI for any of it, this is the guy to go to. And, uh, he held an art expo, uh, as recent as this year. I mean, uh, I mean, last year. You can't really do it this year, because of obvious reasons. But, uh, seems like a super cool dude, so... <laughs> uh, also, he actually does show up in this game, uh, later on. So... Yeah, he's still, uh, he's still going strong. I don't know what kind of work he can actually be doing right now, but, uh... Still rocking the eyeliner, too, which I like. Get okay. Also, I'm not usually uh, one for this type of music, but there is something pretty cool about this uh, this one. It just goes really well for what's uh, transpiring, I suppose. Wait, do we even have to? Hold on, what's, what's that? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna have to, uh, go on easy here. I think maybe the bosses get, uh, more health or something. Oh, wait, is this a behind the scenes? Or is this... Oh, I looked in the files, there's like a very, very, very short clip of his, uh, his artwork. Maybe go on normal. <laughs> I was able to kill that boss last time. But for now, we're just gonna have to, uh... 
Take it easy here. Okay. I don't know what those sounds are, but... Well, uh... He's not really a wrestler. And also, he's like... 65 or something? Uh... Then again, Minoru Suzuki's still tearing it up, so you never know. Uh... <laughs> Maybe if they needed, like, a horror character, he could have designed it. Because, uh, apparently he also designed the mask for Slipknot. And does Marilyn Manson's makeup uh, sometimes? He's n it, he's no slouch. I'll say that much. All right. Uh... Okay, come back, come back. So I think uh, there was a story to this game. It has something to do with the skeletons or brothers that are gonna become the next kings of Makai, and they have to clear all these trials to uh, prove worthy, or something like that. Um. Ah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's the pickups. Basically, you don't really need to do anything. Oh, God. Uh, the thing is, it, it just kind of looks like you're going in somebody's body to, like, eradicate diseases or something for the most part. Which doesn't seem to be, like, part of the story. It's just, like, stuff they have to do. Uh... Yeah, no, no idea. <laughs> get away, get away. I, s I, I swear I, 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 I beat this before. <laughs> It's just like a little too much going on for me to keep track of is the, is the problem, but... I think there's a health pickup, but there's, there's all this going on and... Oh god, we're gonna... We're gonna fight... Okay, we got, we got some life back. So far, so good. Oh, he's... It's gone. Okay. We can, we can, uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. No, he just, uh, he ran away for a second there. Okay, now he's gone. Okay. Alright, so I already forget what the next level is. Also, these transcription uh, descriptions were translated at one point, but it's in another video that I can't pull up right now. Uh, it doesn't really say a whole lot. It's just like, do this. Oh god, this is like the worst level. <laughs> this one's gonna take a bit because uh, this is hell on the PS1 hardware. This level, and I'm not even really totally sure what you're supposed to do. I get hitting the little C-Man, uh, tadpoles. Also, hey, yeah, this is certainly a game, uh, in every sense of the word. So I think you're supposed to just, they, they took your pinball, and you gotta get it back, but... Like I said, on a hardware, apparently it runs like this. <laughs> so... Uh, it is Japanese exclusive, yeah, which is odd because uh, I know the guy was born in Japan, but it seems like he did most of most of his uh, special effects work and stuff in the United States. So I'm actually kind of surprised this isn't this was never released uh, overseas. There's even uh, unused audio I unearthed of him, uh, his self cameo. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> it's just a mess. Um, God. It's easily the worst part of the game, but. At least we have infinite lives. 
I mean, what my rule is that if a game without cheats lets you have it, uh, then you are allowed to do that. <laughs> There's so much <laughs> fucking uh flying piranha things. This isn't even like my bit rate r uh, dying. It's just the game dying. <laughs> yeah, deal with these uh. I just imagine George being like, "There's piranhas, but also there's like human face tadpoles, but also there's there's legs and." Also, there's, like, hands, too. Because you can't have <laughs> legs without hands. Uh... Give me my pinball back. <laughs> I'm low on lives, too, so I just... Okay, so it seems like you just kind of have to hang in there? Because I didn't really hit anything. You just kind of... Oh, wait, never mind. But... Oh, yeah, but... I don't know what is with that level. <laughs> the other ones are relatively straightforward. That one is just not. I think it is just a survival stage, as far as I can tell. And no, the, I don't... Oh god, this one too. The Hall of Eyeballs. I like this track too. Uh, this is another one that's murder on the PS1 hardware. It's like a... It's a, you know, pretty good-looking game. It's just, it's a little too much <laughs> at once for, uh, for all this, you know? Anyway, there's not really that much peril to this, uh... Yeah, he must have had a thing for eyes at this point. Um... Good. I do remember reading that when he was talking about his visual style, uh, which he calls anti-realism, which, fair enough, he said something like, it's fascinating, you know, seeing, you know, all this fantastical fake kind of violent stuff, but, you know, of course I hate real violence, but I hate anything that's real. So, th there's, there's that. <laughs> My uh, buttons seem to kind of be stuck. Uh, I can't even see what my ball's even doing. Oh. So again, since uh, since we have infinite lives, because it is really hard to keep track of the ball uh, in this game. Uh, there's not really much peril in this one. There's not like a lot of obstacles or anything, it's just. This song is so good. <laughs> he he uh he was in like a shock punk game in like the 70s. Oh god. And I'm I'm starting to wonder if uh that was the era that like kind of started Visual K, because he certainly looked like a guy from one of those bands back then. Uh, this kind of just goes on for a while. Uh, yeah, these two levels are kind of a drag, honestly. Uh, it gets better, though. It's like, th th we're in the weakest stretch of the game right now, but... Uh, I think those are just points capsules or something. Not really sure. Scream? What? What? No. Oh, Hold on. Is my internet going out? All right, everybody. Uh, on YouTube, there. Uh. Oh. Uh, that was weird. Hello. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, stream just, uh, 
went bad for a second there. This game is killing the stream. <laughs> okay. I love the record scratch, too. I don't know why, uh... This is a cool effect for, uh... For a flat, uh, pinball flap there. Alright. I just posted that we were fighting the army of eyeballs and then, uh, I vanquished them. So... Okay! Uh... That is self-explanatory. <laughs> I'm gonna see what the hell's going on here real quick. Seems like, uh... Seems like stream's kind of going haywire right now. Okay, now we're, we're good. I don't, I don't know what, uh... I don't know what that was about. Okay, anyway. So, when I said, uh, when I compare this to Splatterhouse, uh, I'm pretty sure those guys are literally enemies in, uh, in those games. Stream is experiencing issues, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, people are still, uh, this is still coming through, right? <laughs> I just want to make sure when I'm remover, removing uh, cancerous growths with pinball that uh, the stream can actually see it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, those guys in the front, they kind of remind me of, uh, what was it, Belly Ache? I think it was that, uh, that boss. Not hitting that. Sixty-three percent. Hold on. Uh, my connection is going to shit. Apparently. One second. Uh, how do I? Uh... Oh, it came through. Okay. Hopefully that, uh, that lasts. <laughs> Alright, get that growth out of here. It is like hitting everything but... <laughs> Apparently that thing has a voice. <laughs> hey, PS1 horror or something else. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix the bit rate real quick. I'm getting like all sorts of errors. One second. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, this should be working now. I had to lower the bitrate a bit. So the output is probably going to look bad. But... Wait, if your intestines are throwing pills around, shouldn't you be like... Shouldn't that, uh... Be healthy? <laughs> Maybe that's, uh... That's whatever is going on here, I'm injecting it. Looks like the medical theme going on in this game is certainly intriguing. It better not, I'll, 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 I'll kick their ass. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, the soundtrack was uploaded on YouTube with no copyright protection whatsoever, so I assume old Georgie uh, wouldn't mind. I don't think he'd mind either way, but... Drop frames detected 11% over the last two minutes. That is better than 60%, <laughs> so whatever. Okay. We're going to the nerves. Uh, which apparently have like bees in it. I feel like this person should just go see a doctor and not just have like two skeleton people up in their innards. <laughs> also, this song is great. It's the most like would be in Tony Hawk song out of his soundtrack. <laughs> Like I said, I'm pretty sure having a manual here would explain how a lot of the stuff works uh, a bit better. But, uh... Come on, come on! The sound design gets a little overwhelming at times. Probably just power through this, right? <laughs> There's like another door you can go down, but like it has a whole bunch of more enemies. I'm not sure why you would uh, go down there. Yeah, there, there seems to be like a uh, like a nest of hornets or something up in your uh, nerves. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the follow there. Uh... <laughs> Imagine a horror movie starring the bees. I mean... I'm, I'm sure there's been plenty. Just a lot of, like, B-movie trash. Come on. I gotta get those points. <laughs> I really hope he said, God damn it! During the song. <laughs> excellent, excellent stuff. Alright, well, the uh, frame rate problem seemed to have stopped, so that's good. Alright, so this is. Uh, Oh, wait, why can't I pause all of a sudden? Uh, before I noticed the infinite lives thing, uh, this was my worst enemy in this game, and his name is Face Gun. I don't know either. He shoots dentures at you. <laughs> and his face looks like a Tekken 1 <laughs> model. This part of the song is really good. This game, even if, uh... Yeah, I was noticing this... This relatively obscure game, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I imagine, uh, it, it sticks with you. I imagine seeing it just once, like, you'll... Remember it forever. Which, uh, I'm sure is, uh, the designer's intent. <laughs> That really does just look like Tekken 1 Kazuya uh, strung up there. Anyway, he's gone. I spent like a good half hour trying to beat that guy before I noticed that the game just lets you have anything in lives. Uh, so. Oh, hey there. Uh, Virtual Boy Ben was fake. He's a Shenlong. Damn. Well, what's the point in even having Virtual Boy uh, hyper fighting then? 
Also, for the record, all the footage is of the demo, which is uh, the only widely circulated one. So Ben might be real. We just uh, we might not be able to see it. I actually don't remember this level. Well, yeah. It's... Oh, this one. Oh, you have the full one. Okay, so Ben, unfortunately, does not exist. Wait, why, why, why the hell... Uh... It might be a cheat, yeah. Because I, I can't imagine... Um... I can't imagine... Um... Well, Sasha might be busy. Uh, she'll get to you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why that post would um, make up a character. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Either way, I'm considering making Ben for Fire Pro and maybe putting him in my, my mod match team. Let's, we'll, we'll see. Because he's a novel idea. Another, thing, another point for the soundtrack, it's very diverse. <laughs> well, the thing is, like... Ha then again, a lot of minimalist ports did have all the moves, but I'm wondering, like, how, like, what, uh, god damn it, uh, what would even be c capable there. I think this might, you know, this might actually, uh, just be Pilot Red Sun. Maybe Screaming Mad George is also Pilot Red Sun. I would not be surprised. <laughs> I've been thinking of that video, Mr. Fujiwara's office, like, ever since I saw it. There was something very mesmerizing about it. Fetch me a fire extinguisher. A good one, with the foam. Alright. Yeah, bones that just make, like, kind of chomping noises when you hit them? I wonder I don't remember this level. There's not really a whole lot to it. <laughs> I think we do get the boss character here. Yeah, here we go. It's, uh, the... The Death Spider, I guess. <clears throat> this boss is kind of weird. Because, uh, you'll see in a second. And that's really all there is to him. Oh, yeah, the, the, the chomping fire. Yeah, that's... <laughs> So basically, yeah, you just kind of projectile reflect this boss to death. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, yeah, hey, uh, yeah, I was I was going on a whole spiel about his work, uh, from Predator to Missy Elliott <laughs> to like uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night Four. Uh, if it for this damn pandemic, I'd love to go to the expo just to meet this dude. He seems really cool. Watch Society. Uh, also, uh, Mad George was uh, the director for uh, that The Giver movie that had Mark Hamill in it. Uh, so there's that. Oh, th I think this is the level where we actually meet him. Or wait, no, I think that's a that's, uh, ways away. As I said, he does show up in this game, although it's like, you know, him during the late 70s, I think. <laughs> or 80s, or whatever. 
Uh, so yeah, those are those are starfish made out of legs. Uh, what was I supposed to do here? Oh, right. All right, society is um right. I think there's an enemy uh, based off of that. I, like, it, it just came to me, uh, because I, I, I feel like that... <laughs> just remake this and do No! <laughs> I think it's just for the seed, right? Oh, uh, this is one of my favorite sequences in the game. They don't do anything, they just kind of dance. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, wait, you can hit them. Why would I want to hit them? They seem nice. <laughs> so there's this part, too. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I might I might uh, have somebody to talk to about that. Uh, it's been a long time, uh... It's been a long time Doom modder. Might be able to help me with screaming Mad George's Doomscape. Very leggy level. Then there's... I can't even begin to imagine what these two things are. <laughs> They're just things. <laughs> okay, uh... I, I think, yeah, these are the bosses, but they don't really do anything here. They just kind of dance. This really just does seem like you're in a town, uh, full of dancing things, and they're just trying to have a good time, and you're here just killing them. <laughs> the creepy pasta can really compare to anything, let's be honest here. I'd like my ball back, please. Oh. That one's just gone. Okay. And so is that one. Okay, cool. Uh... Right. The... Let me move forward. <laughs> is, it, is there like something somewhere else I'm supposed to be? Do I have to hit those? I think I'm gonna have to hit the faces. There we go. I don't know what the hell this song is. <laughs> it's a song from this game, let's say. I'm just waiting to meet the man himself. <laughs> Yeah, they, I like how basically everything cool I do in this game is by total accident, because it's kind of pinball in general, ain't it? I guess that's not entirely true, but the physics of this are pretty random. Yep, there's the... yeah. So the society reference is uh, pretty, pretty relevant there. Just, just run away. <laughs> that is a direct reference to a scene that he did the effects for in that movie. Uh, there's probably more references to stuff he did in movies here. Oh, here he is! So basically this is just a very simple, like, hit the right face. And, uh, that's all there really is to this level, but... I'm gonna make Mad George a ref from Fire Pro. Excuse me, I can't really control where this thing's going. Alright. 
I feel like this, like, if this makes sense, this feels like the most pinball-y of these levels. Just like, even the presentation here. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, funny thing is, this is a... Uh, I assume he's making fun of me. <laughs> Yeah, this is like, I think, the second to last level. Uh, where I think this is the last time it, it stays a pinball game. <laughs> it goes a very different route after this. Okay. Yeah, there are unused English voice clips of him, and uh, I'm glad that there is a sound of him uh, saying, What the hell are you doing? Also, he's, uh, what the? Oh, don't tell me it's stuck. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna, <laughs> gonna have that happen infinitely. Okay. Uh, so we have to get all these cockroaches here. Out of the, uh, that apparently make record scratch noises when you hit them. I mean, I guess this would make exterminating more fun. <laughs> oh, and they have human faces too, because, you know, why not? Oh, they just, uh, they turned into one big bug. Really should have put a warning for bugs here too. Oh well. <laughs> PS1 bug. some levels where it's just like it's just kind of a breather after a while because it takes a while for progress to happen. <laughs> nah, this ain't, this ain't that. This can only be made by somebody that is stone cold sober all the way through. Believe me, if this guy was on LSD when designing this, this would be a lot more boring. Let's <laughs> get it. Come on, hit the t hit the damn bug. Well. The I kind of can't help it. There we go, okay. I think we have to... Go Get out of the way! I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm trying to hit this uh, this Halloween mask here. So yeah, night you. Got a sense of disappointment. Ciao, you. No, that's not it. <laughs> I failed so many times. He's just like, looping lines now. <laughs> Is it that one? Ah, <laughs> uh, George. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, yeah, this is uh, the king and queen segment. Um, yeah. This is where it stops being a pinball game for some reason. Okay. So the whole idea is that you have to like hit it when it yeah lines up with the image provided. And yeah, that's kind of it. I don't know what the point of this level really was. <laughs> More of a puzzle level than anything. Also, we've been reincarnated into this. One of Sid's toys. So this is the last, last level. So basically, what this is, is, uh, there's a bunch of coffins, we have to find the king and queen, put them to bed, but also there are zombies running around with only one voice clip the entire time. <laughs> Hi, um, well this was a horror, this was a horror pinball game, now it's just kind of this. Get used to hearing that sound a lot. Or maybe not, I think we already beat this level. <laughs> created the origin of life itself, apparently. <laughs> uh, see you next time. Uh, promise that would sadly never get fulfilled. Because uh, they never made a sequel to this. I don't, uh, I don't know if this sold particularly well. Because, um, as much as I kind of love this game, it's not very good. <laughs> it's, like, very interesting, but... Uh, it's kind of wonky. Let's say. But it, it's great, though. Like, I... <laughs> but yeah, from the, from the makers of one-on-one -on -one basketball... <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here's the art expo here. I guess if you get no continues, uh, you get to see this. I believe that was him walking away. <laughs> so I believe there was actually uh, a dummy from Silent Night, Deadly Night 4 down there. As for this other stuff, I don't really recognize it, but... Yeah, like, the, the, the dude, like... It's no wonder everybody hires this guy. <laughs> Again, if you, if you need, you know, really gross and or weird visuals, uh... And you don't like CG very much, uh, this is the guy to hire, and, uh... Tons of people hire him for a good reason. So yeah, pretty cool game. Uh, maybe I'll meet him one day when the stupid-ass pandemic's over. Uh, but with that, uh, we are moving on. <laughs>